Yeah, all right, welcome to the Keep On Growing podcast. And today we're gonna to talk about algae because I just dropped a little short. It was kind of poking fun. I dropped a short a couple days ago and the little short one was about, a, I scooped, I had algae, I scooped a little cup and then I drank a smoothie. And I wasn't drinking the algae. I just kind of did that for fun because I wanted to test out and see how many people would like ask about the kale plant that was growing in it. And out of all those views, thousands, tens of thousands of views on different platforms, uh, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, everything, not one person asked about the plant. How is the plant growing in all that algae? They all focused on drinking it, you know. They were like, yuck, don't do that. You know, you're gonna be on the toilet for a week. Just all these comments and that. Not one person asked about the plant. And the funny thing is, I've been doing this for a while and not pointing it out. I've just been showing like my plants. And once in a while I come down and show a little clear end that I put on one of our end caps. I used a clear one and I left it. And you could see clearly there was a bunch of algae in it. But I'd show all these plants and they all looked really nice and then I'd show that, not say anything. Uh, some other plants that picked it up would show the plant and you could clearly see inside that there was algae and I never really pointed it out, but I would show it because I was waiting for somebody to say, how is there all that algae in there? How are you growing the plants like that? Not one person for months and months that I've been doing this has ever asked that. And I found that really interesting. That's why I kind of made the funny video that just came out, if you guys have seen that. And I wanted people to, when, when I have the kale that's growing there, I, I made some of the target containers. I put the mylar bags in there and that worked good as far as cutting down on the sunlight. There was no algae inside any of the mylar bags. So if you guys are worried about it, you know, that's something you can experiment with. But I put one beside of it without the mylar bag just to kind of compare and I kept opening it up. I've, I've done it in several videos. I opened it up and showed it. Didn't say anything, don't point anything out. And nobody ever asked, but that kale plant looked better than the ones beside it that were growing in the Mylar bags. So I just find it interesting and I'm not saying everybody should go out and just let everything go and just you know uh, grow stuff in algae and that's the right way. I just want to show you guys that, that uh, there are different ways. There's, I think, we get kind of stuck in this box where we all listen to like just certain people and um, there's a general consensus people have videos and and the ones who have the most views everybody thinks you know they know what they're talking about so they say certain things and then everybody else regurgitates it and we don't realize that um, like commercial growers and everything all of these people they're striving for the best if you're in this for profit, you're trying to make the best looking product. You're trying to get the best yields, right? You might just be a backyard gardener and you just might want some kale. You might not want to win the blue ribbon at the next county fair, right? So uh, we don't have to strive to be that, but that's what is out there. So everybody who gets any information, they think that's the right way. That's the only way. And I want to show you guys that in between here and there there's a lot of space in between there for success it depends on what you want so i do these different things and i do experiments and i have fun and i think people come on like about the ph and you have to do ph you can't do it without it or you can't do it without aeration or you're not mixing the nutrients right you know went through that for years even though i have hundreds of videos and and uh, seven years worth of videos on all the stuff I've been growing somebody will watch one video and say you're not doing it right you can't do that I'm like what do you mean I can't do that I've been doing it for seven years so um, I just want to let you all know you don't have to do what I'm doing you don't have to trust it I just need you guys to get out of the frame of mind where everybody just listens to to all of the noise out there and I hate when people just say you have to you have to you have to when they say that, it makes me feel like doing the opposite or just proving it wrong. So uh, I've got a lot of stuff out there that, that may not be the right way to grow it, but that's why I'm the dumbest gardener in the world. I want to go ahead and be able to grow stuff. And if you guys can see it, if I can do it in the, the, the way that I do it, then hopefully everybody else can do a little better than me and everybody will be able to grow their own food because you can look out there and see all the stuff that I'm growing. You can see how we're doing it on a, a continuous basis over and over and over again. 
And if I do that without checking the pH and I've got algae in my containers and I'm mixing my nutrients wrong, if I can do it that way, then you guys can take the little extra steps and you can add aeration. You can do all these little extra things and do better than me. I want all of you to do better than me. I want everyone in the world to be able to do at least what I do. But I want to show you guys that you don't have to strive to be the best. Don't stress out. If everybody does that, that's why people get discouraged and that's why people quit. And I don't want that. I want you guys to look at me and go, if that guy can do it, I can do it. So I'm doing things in an unconventional way. I'm having fun with it. Uh, I'm not saying, like I said, that everybody has to go out there and do what I'm doing. I just want to give you guys an encouragement that if I can do it in this way, if I can do it like that, have algae all over the place, then maybe you guys can do a little bit better. But at the first sign of algae, don't get discouraged, don't panic. And that's what I see a whole lot in my groups and and emails and DMs and everything, you know. I, I didn't paint my container and, and I've got algae now. What I do, what I do, what I do? And it, it might just be relax, take it easy. You know, the, the one thing is the reason why I left the algae in that, I think it's worse to dump everything out and put your plant in shock and then stick brand new nutrients in there, spray stuff on the roots and spray them off in that. It might work once in a while, but a lot of times it's not going to work. And to me, I'd rather just take the chances and not do the extra work. So, like I said, what I do is not the conventional way. I don't care. I'm not your average gardener. I'm not your average person, if you guys can tell. And I just want to encourage you guys that, that, you know, there are different ways to do things. You can have fun. I enjoy it. I don't want to get out there and get stressed out about everything. I want to do it in a cheap and easy way so that everyone out there can grow some of their own food. So I hope that helps. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, let's talk about uh, the heat and uh, some ways with combating the heat. So you guys take care. Lift, inspire, keep on growing. Be the change. We'll catch you next time.